right, so in today's video, we're gonna do a quick tutorial on how to set up a dedicated domain and go high level. So let's jump into it. All right, so we're here in the go high level account. First thing we wanna do is go down to um, settings here and you wanna come over to email services. Uh, you wanna be on the main account, your agency level, not the subdomain or sub account level. And then we want to go down here. You'll see they pop up this little notice that says create a dedicated domain. Just to highlight it real quick, some reasons you want to do it is one for better deliverability. If you don't have this set up, a lot of your emails could go to spam or just go to filters or people just quite frankly may not know who these emails are coming for. So it could just end up lost in our email account. One, you want to control your email reputation as well. So by doing this, you have better control over your email reputation. If not, if you're just using the dedicated one, the generic one from Go High Level, a lot of people use that. It's a generic one. Probably you don't know who's been associated with sending emails out from there. So it's definitely going to be a higher chance of it not making an inbox. So let's jump into it. So we just want to do create a dedicated domain. Basically what you want to do is set up a domain name based on the domain name that you're using. If your agency account, you want to set it up from that. If you have your brand that you send emails from, you want to set that up. Also, if your agency and you have several sub accounts under your account, you want to set up one for each. You want to set up one of these for each uh, sub account you have based on their domain names, the emails. If you have multiple agencies or accounts that you're working with, you don't want to send them all from the same domain name. You want to each have their own set up just to match their list. So for this one, I'm going to use, they have this lc.domain.com. That's standard to just set it up based on what the name of the email service provider was. So in the past I've used like after campaign, I've done like ac.mydomainname.com or vice versa. But for this, I'm just going to do reply and then dot my domain name. So let me pull it up real quick. For this one, I want to use digitalsystemsacademy.com. So I'm just going to do reply.digitalsystemsacademy.com. And then let's just go to add. I use Cloudflare where I have my domain names run. If you use Namecheap or GoDaddy, or if you have it, and some emails I have in my hosting through SiteGround. So you just want to go to the DNS wherever you have your domain name set up. So just hit this continue here. It's going to retrieve the records. And then if you have it set up through Cloudflare, you can just do authorized domain name. It will redirect over to uh, your Cloudflare account through the domain name it found it and then you can authorize. If not, you can just go in and add these in manually. I'll show you how to do that manually as well. So we'll just do it manually because it says it's not verified. What we wanna do is come in here to DNS and we need to verify the domain name. So you see it added all the records in here as you see, but we just want to verify it. So now it's verified through Mailgun and then we just need to give it a second here. All right, so I just refreshed my page. I'm going to try this verify again. Sometimes it takes a few seconds or a couple of minutes for it to verify. And what we want all the domain names to show up is active. So let me just do verify now. Cool, so the DMARC one is taking a little bit longer, but the rest of them is verified. Sometimes it could take a few minutes for this to load up. While we're waiting for that to load up, I'll just walk through. If we want it to do it manually, let me just get this window up here. Just make this the, separate that. Cool. So if you wanted to do it manually, you would just come in and you would just add these records here and just copy each record over and go back here. You would just come in. So this would be a text record here. You just click the drop down here. This is pretty universal in all DNS uh, settings where you can just grab it and then you just copy the info here and you just post that there. You can add the host name would be there as well. And then you just save it and add and it's vice versa. You set up one here for reply, the values, and then so on for each one. 
and then just save them in. I'm not going to save it because it's already in there. And then that's it. And then I'll just try to verify this one more time. All right, perfect. So I just verified it and now everything is active here. That took about three or four minutes for everything to populate over. And now we have our shared email set up. So now I can go in here to my dedicated domain. We have it set up here and we just want to adjust some settings here. So if I go over to my location settings here, I only want it to be set up on this Lewis Pike digital here. So if you have multiple accounts in here, you want to set it for the specific ones we talked about earlier. So I'm just going to hit this here and we're just going to change that to this one here, the dedicated one, and then save it. So now I have this domain name set to just this sub account here. If I wanted to set up one for the next one, I would just set up a dedicated domain name from there. So if you have multiple accounts in there, you'll want to set it up for the multiple accounts that you have. And then that's pretty much it. You're set to go. You have your domain name set up and you're ready to start sending emails. Some tips of what I would do before you start sending out emails is maybe if you have a small uh, team, just warm up the emails first. So these are the steps I typically like to do. If I have everyone on the team, I try like to send out an email to just the whole team. So if you have a team or a company that you're working with, send an email out to everyone on the team. Just have the internal team on there have them all reply back to that email as the first step. And then the next step for warming up the email is you want to just send it out to your warmest leads first. So if you have uh, customers or clients that you let check all your emails and open all your emails, just send out a few uh, rounds of emails to them to help warm up that domain name. And then from there, you can do an additional step where you send it out to like emails that are maybe open within the last 60, maybe 90 days max, send out emails. If you send out to your big list, just make sure they've interacted within your email within, I would prefer 30 to 60, but 90 would probably be the max. Um, send out emails to those guys first. And then once you send out a few rounds of email, you can send it out to your main list, even the code leads once you've got it warmed up. But just want to take those steps to get your domain name warmed up. Anyway, if you guys have any questions or have any issues, just drop the comments down below. But that's a quick video on how to set up a dedicated domain name.